Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel today. Um, it's been a couple months since I've filmed a new video and I'm happy to bring today's video is all about hygiene and why hygiene is so important to kids and guys and all the people with Klinefelter syndrome and X and Y variations. So when I think about hygiene, I think about when I was younger about drinking out of the garden hose and playing in the mud and playing outside and sweating and then coming in coming inside and it was such a struggle for my parents to like say you have to take a shower you know I had this star chart that would remind me of all the things I had to do every day um, and I hated it and it like it just felt like it was like an unnecessary thing that I needed to do um, and I look back now on a lot of that stuff and um, it all adds up to like the executive functions that a lot of us lack or a lot of us don't have the the skill to acquire like a list I like like lists and just to do things um, every day over the course of a long period of time and never forgetting and just taking making the effort to, to actually make it happen um, and so I'm not a list person but they do help and I do kind of live live by them on occasion and so there's this list that I've created it's on some pretty awesome sticky notes that pretty pretty much stick anywhere and this list has everything that I have to do in the morning um, it's not really necessarily in order um, I know that like the the bottom sticky note should probably be on the top because brushing your teeth is probably the most important thing having Klinefelter syndrome um, and so I live by this list every single day. Um, so, and then there's like this other thing with hygiene that kind of, I don't, I get impatient. Like when I'm brushing my teeth, I feel like I need to do like 90 other things. Like the whole hygiene thing of taking a shower, um, washing my hair, conditioner, soap, face cream, you know, brushing my teeth, flossing, um, rinsing with Listerine, that whole process of just being in the bathroom. I feel like I feel like I've got like five minutes to do it all and I feel like I'm rushed um, and I, maybe it's just because I don't want to be in there and I'm not it like hygiene in general is just not fun um, and I'd rather be playing outside or drinking from the garden hose but hey it's something that's really important and I wanted to talk to you all out there about why it's so important um, one of the biggest things is I probably got I probably have like 26 cavities that have been filled I've got two gold crowns on the back of my teeth um, because A, our enamel with X and Y chromosome variations is a lot thinner. Um, so taking care of your teeth when I was younger, I ate lots of sweets and I just didn't brush them like I should have. I also had braces, but I ended up brushing my teeth with braces so I didn't have the calcification spots. Um, and I just think, you know, all you kids out there that are watching, get into a routine of brushing your teeth every day because I look back on it now and the thousands of dollars that I've spent to keep my teeth clean and not rotting away and not have to put gold crowns on the front of my teeth or anything like that um, could have been prevented if I just brushed my teeth every single day and really took care of it. And then just showering in general, when you get in the shower, you know, making sure that you shower, that you're not lying to your parents about showering, that you shower with soap and that you just get clean and get it done develop a routine and do it every single day and then when you feel clean it makes you feel better and when your teeth are clean you want to smile more and then when you smile more it gives you confidence so all this stuff kind of adds up to positives in our lives even though they seem like these like redundant things that we just are like oh okay mom okay mom I'll brush my teeth today like I remember saying that when I was a kid and um, the whole star chart and all that stuff so and then as you get older you know making sure you do your hair and I get a unibrow right here and I take care of it because I don't want to give anybody else out there in public another reason to like look at me and be like oh my god you have a unibrow or um, I like to do my hair and look good when I go out and care about the way I look um, I know that I have a full beard and a lot of guys don't have the opportunity to grow a full beard But if you got a five o'clock shadow, you know, just trim those long hairs to make it look good 
Um, you know, if you if, if your son or, or daughter or whatever, um, daughter, I don't know why I said daughter, but if your son growing up has, you know, is starting to get some facial hair, you know, teach him to shave it. Teach him to take care of himself so he doesn't have like just all these random long hairs growing out of his face for no good reason. Um, so yeah, that's that. I mean, I just think hygiene's really important. Waking up every day, making your bed, taking your vitamins, drinking water, um, cleaning your beard up or your face if you have the, the hair or if you want to look good or if you're trying to grow it out, you know, just keeping the understuff clean. Um, flossing, mouthwash, brushing your teeth. Uh, I put face cream on and sunscreen every day because I want my skin to last. I want to look good when I'm older. So yeah, all that's, uh, you know, that's, that's about it. Oh, and one of the bigger things is deodorant. Make sure you wear deodorant because I've noticed that when I don't wear deodorant, halfway through the day, I freaking smell. So thanks guys for watching. Um, the next video that I'm going to be bringing at you guys is all about the NIH, the National Institute of Health, and the opportunities to go do these programs and uh, help the doctors in these institutions understand why the X and Y chromosomal variations happen. Um, and I've got some more videos coming at you guys soon, which I'm pretty excited about. And then also make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, and go check out my new website, livingwithxxy.com. Um, I'm trying to update it as the time goes on, but the more people that click it, hit it, you know, all that stuff, the better we're going to be doing with Google. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you all enjoy. Have a great day. And hopefully you're enjoy enjoying your summertime. And for those of you down under, hopefully you're enjoying your winter. All right. Bye. Thank you guys all for watching.